We are about to police a serious public disorder. I have created a brilliant evocation of a mighty and towering oak tree. Apple tree. A mighty and towering apple tree. With one apple. I've had a heavy windfall. I'm sorry, sir. It's just more common these days for the protesters to remain up the tree in their dwellings. Really, Kevin should be nestling in your foliage. <laughs> Perhaps if he was to sit on your shoulders, then Frank and I can try and get him down. Hmm. Yes, you may be right there, Habib. Certainly worth a try. Constable Goody, get up on my desk, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> Feet apart. Yes. Come on. Uh, <laughs> yes, can't, can't Constable Habib do this? I'm not sticking my head in there, Kevin. No, I mean, you get your leg over, Inspector Fowler. Goody. <laughs> Constable Habib is a woman of the opposite sex. Yes. If I'm going to get between anybody's legs, it's going to be a man's. <laughs> Come on, boy. Spread your haunches. Okay. Well, uh, don't bend my curly whirly, please. <laughs> Good. Oh, mind out for my love blob. Oh. <laughs> right. Now, Goody is the protester. Mm. I am the tree. Yeah. Habib and Gladstone, how are you, the police, going to get him down? I'll come down, I'll come down. <laughs> when our next door neighbour, Cat, gets stranded in a tree, the old woman always put a saucer of milk at the bottom to tempt it down. See, and you think the same technique might work with committed environmental activists? Well, maybe if we add some biscuits? I could make some fudge. You know, you're going quite bald here, you know. Oh, really? This is quite absurd. <laughs> you are able to respond at all to the simplest of role-playing techniques, I'm going to put you back on your desk, Goody. Yes, OK, well, mind my gonks. <laughs> I can't keep you up all day. Actually, you know the feeling of someone's ears on your inner thighs isn't entirely unpleasant. 